Good morning, I'm Scott Miller from Compass Roofing. I'm the managing director here. Um, and this morning we've done a, a small demonstration on Scotch Slayton. Uh, young apprentice Kyle Stoddart, first year at Edinburgh College, and Aaron Semple, second year at Edinburgh College, are going to give us a hand with this. So this morning what we've done is we've just had a couple of square metres of Ballyhoolish second-hand Scotch Slayton. Um, we lay this on Proctor Roof Shield, which is air and vapour permeable, and round about any open edges we have a, a Type 5U um, carrier felt that does not draw moisture. Um, the slates are fixed with copper nails. The way that we would normally do this is we put the double eaves course on and we double nail it. Then the second and third course are single nailed. Third course, uh, sorry, the fourth course is double nailed, single nailed, single nailed, and then double nailed. This makes it very easy for repairing a slate should a slate ever come out. Um, all the perimeter edges are to be double nailed, so double nailed at all the perimeter edges. And for the demonstration purposes, I've actually shown that I've got the lads to leave one specific slate out that's not double nailed. So all these slates are double nailed and they don't turn, but this slate here can do that. So if it was on an open edge, the wind catches it and that is what you're going to get. So that's why the slates are all double nailed at the edges. We've, got, we've also got one slate in this panel of slating, which is probably about 50 slates. So we've got one slate that should not be there because it's actually a Welsh slate, and that's this one here. The characteristics of a Welsh slate are quite flat on the surface, and they're, it's, a, it's a very, very purple slate when you cut into it. Um, the rest of these are Scotch. Um, so I, I got the lads to put that in there. It does match, but as I say, it is a, as a, as a foreigner in a Scotch slated roof. What we do with the margins is we, we measure the slate and then we, we measure from the nail hole to the bottom of the slate. We take off the head lap and then we divide it by two, which gives us what we call our twill. So that's the twill there. So what I've done is I've stuck two lines on this roof for, again, demonstration purposes. It's not what we always do, but it just ensures if I put a line on here, which the next slate goes on to, to there and then we would nail that slate in but what I've actually done is I've, I've struck two lines on this particular roof and that is just to guarantee that I can measure from there to there and that I've got 50 millimeters of head lap on these slates and every one of them is over 50 millimeters of head lap so what we do is we err on the side of caution anything less than 50 millimeters it has to come out and be put in again a bigger slate Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually break a slate within the, the, the panel of Scotch slating and I'm going to get um, the lads to repair that slate. Give me one of your hammers in it. So. They are quite robust slates obviously, so it takes a bit of breaking. So sometimes we go up on a roof and we'll see, you know, the woman's got a roof leak and there is a missing slate when we go up on the roof. Find this quite commonly if there's been an aerial rigger up there or if a slate's been put in and it's had a, a crack in it or whatever. So I'm going to get the lads to show you exactly how to, to repair that, um, that broken slate. So now the guys are going to show you how to replace a scotch slate in a typical scotch slated roof. So if you just want to turn the slates guys. Take the slate out. And measure the gap that you've got to see exactly what size of slate you need. Make sure that the head cover's correct. Yeah, that looks a bit right. Make sure the nail's to the top of the nail hole. And 
then maneuver the slates above back into position. And that is basically how you typically do a Scotch slate repair. Um, there are other slated roofs, like a Spanish roof, um, where the slates might have to be double nailed, well, the slates would be double nailed, sorry, uh, and you would have to use what, a tool called a ripper, where you rip, you know, push the, the ripper up underneath and you have to unhook the, the, the nails and, and actually draw them, draw them out. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get um, young Aaron to take the Welsh slate out and put a Scotch slate in. And at the same time, I'm going to get them to fix this verge slate with a double nail as it should be. That will involve taking the double nails out or the, the slates above, turning them round and then putting them back in and then double nailing them. Okay, Aaron? Measure, you either measure the slate or you measure the hole. You bring that and then line with the verge. So when we take slates off of a roof, um, whether we are going to be putting the same slates back on, dressing and sizing them down, or whether we're putting Spanish on, or whether it's a Welsh slate with the, that we require to go on, or whether it's a Welsh slate that's coming back, there is normally a reusable value in, in most of the slates. Um, slates that come back for jobs, they come in all sort of shapes and sizes. Uh, this one is a, a Welsh slate, it's a dark coloured Welsh slate. Um, we've made these paddles up so you know 16 8 or a uh, 16 10 that's a 14 10 and a 14 8 so that slate here could probably have another life if it just gets cut and dressed to size you got that marker so you know we'll mark the slate we'll mark the slate like that and if we can dress that slate down cut it up these lines, cut across the head and put on a couple of nail holes in it. That slate's good for either going on a roof that's actually got 14 by 8 slates on it, or it can be used for a repair in many slate, uh, slated roofs round about the town. Say bungalows, a lot of them have 14 8 uh, well slates on them. So I'll ask um, 
either are in or Kyle if they can cut the slate and reshape it into size. Right, so Kyle's going to reshape the slate into size. So you're not wanting to take all the slate and cut it all back to the line at the one time. So there's obviously a, a, a process of doing it. What I would suggest you do is you put the two nail holes in it first, where we've marked them. That's it, that's it, that's it through. And the one on the other side. through and if you cut the top of the slate first hold it at the front of the slate hold it at the front that's right right and as I say keep it keep it tight back to your stake you know tilt it back to yourself a wee bit that's it and it's cut it that's it now just cut a wee bit more off it don't go right to the line yet I see just tilt it towards you and now go to, go to the line and see if it'll cut, cut to the line. Now that slate there's actually broken through, so that slate would not be able to be used for that. But we, what we could do is we could go back to the paddle, resize it again, and we could maybe perhaps get a 12 by 6 out of that slate. But what to do is just for demonstration purposes, let's just for, forget that that wee bit's come out, just let's cut that to the line. Post it to your side. That's it, that's it. Now do it up, up the side of the slate as well. So hold it like that. And then just, as I say, don't go all the way, all the way at the start. Just, all right, just take a half inch off it, that's it. Right, okay. So just, again, didn't go right to the line, just cut it like that, but try and keep it close to, try and keep the knife and the stake close together. Like that. Pull it back towards you. Stay right. right, the next one's the money shot. Now you've got to cut up the line. So just make sure that you tilt the slate up above your stake up above your stake and bring your knife on an angle like that. That's it, take your time, that's it, good. 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 Keep it going up, up the line. Yeah, good. Pulling it back to yourself, so it's over the state. Pull it back to yourself, further, further, further. Right, so I think there's a there's a, a breakage in the slate there, but to be fair, he's done no bad with that. It is a thin slate, so it may not have as much reusability, but with another nail hole in that slate. There. The other slate comes to the middle of that slate. You have actually got adequate cover in that slate. So that's the bit you're going to see. So that's the lap and that's the side cover. That slate is actually good, you know, for another good period of time. Although you can hear it's not really ringing. It should be ringing a lot better than that. But as I say, you have to go through them and you have to ascertain whether the slate is fit for purpose or not. So that one perhaps would actually be discarded or taken down to a lower size. This is a part of the job that the, the customer very, very rarely sees. But um, what we do is we, we buy a lot of um, second-hand Valahoolers slates, bring them in, take them out the crates, put them, stack them in this corner, and on uh, windy or wet days, the guys come in here and they prepare these slates. So they come in the raw form, corners off them, no nail holes in them. They sit there, they dress them, they size them, and then they put them over here, so they basically square up the corner, they square up the, the sides and, and the tail, put a new nail hole in them, and then they're ready for sizing, which is uh, right behind you. 
So here's the slate once they've been sized. These are the bigger slates. You've got 18s behind me, you've got 20s and 22s behind me again. But uh, we've got quite a good stock of size 17s. So as I say, these have been sized. So we've obviously, they've, they've, they've been tested, the, kind of the ring test, if you like. So it is ringing quite well. So that slate has probably been on a roof for perhaps 100 years out of the Ballyhoo's quarry. And it's actually going back on a roof and it should be fit for purpose for another 100 years. The slates obviously go down in size because as you're dressing them, some corners break off and the, slate, the scotch slating is in diminishing courses so they do go down the sizes. So you've got a 16, a 17, sorry, you've got a 17, a 16, a 15, a 14, all the way down to the very, very small undersized slates and they would uh, typically be used on very, very small panels like a bay window or a, a vertical half on the side of a dormer. Uh, where we can actually reduce the cover on these to about you know about an inch and a half instead of two inches, uh, sorry, or 50 mil. Um, and that's about it. So thank you, uh, Scott and the team from Compass Roofing for giving up your time to give us that demonstration into traditional roof slating. Greatly appreciated and thank you very much.